Okay, I'm going to model doing a uh, whole exam paper. This is January 2022. Um, if I was actually modeling it, doing it for properly, I would actually go through and have a quick look at the paper. So let's just do that. I can see it looks like I've got some sort of um, equilibrium question there. Uh, that's one of those questions where we've got the, the two objects heading towards each other. Uh, that's a moments question, obviously. What else have we got here? Number four, that looks to me like it's a SUVAC question. No, no, pretty much all of a SUVAC question. That's interesting, I might jump to that one next. Uh, number five, pretty much looks like one of my standard um, objects on an inclined plane. So again, should be okay with that one. Vectors question, uh, that looks like a vectors question with forces, so probably F equals MA and resolving forces for that one there. Ah, another object where I've got on an inclined plane and I've also obviously got connected forces there, so connected particles rather. Uh, what else have we got? Another big vectors question, one of the vectors questions where I'm gonna be using R equals R naught plus VT. Is that it? Is that, and that's it, okay, so eight questions there. I would always do that and then go back and get started and think, right, yeah, this looks like a, hopefully, if we revise this, a nice start to my topic here. So when I'm going to be doing this one, the first thing I've got to do is decide, am I going to draw my own diagram down here, which I do do sometimes, but looking at this one, I think I can put all my information on this diagram pretty easily. So I'll actually go with doing that to start off with then see how clear my diagram looks like. Reading the question then. It says, I've got a particle of weight, five newtons. No Gs, okay, five newtons acting there. Uh, light in extensible string, so that must be a tension there. Other end is a fixed point, oh yeah, that's fine. Particle is held in equilibrium by a force of mass F. Um, direction of the force perpendicular to the string, OP makes an angle of 60 degrees with the vertical. So if that's true, then what I'm gonna, well, let, let's actually go ahead and do that. I've done part A. Part A then is putting all my forces on. The second thing that I would do would be to resolve those forces, in this case, horizontally and vertically. Doesn't take me any time at all then to do those as being those two forces. If that angle is 60 there, let's just put another one in here, because I am gonna do the ones for T as well. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna get that that angle there is 30 degrees because it's a right angle triangle, which with this thing here being 180, means that that angle there is 60 degrees. Slightly different from what we've done previously, but not particularly hard. This is F sine 60. This is F cos 60. And on the other side, this is, again, with my arrows in, whoops, got my arrow in. This is T sine 60, and this is T cos 60. You could have done them with the 30 degree. It's up to you whether you wanna use that angle or not. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stick with the ones that I've got there, but you would have got T cos 30 instead of sine 60, and you would have got T sine 30 instead of cos 60. Right, so once I've got that, I've, uh, done part A, which is putting my forces on. I've done part B, which is uh, resolving those forces parallel and perpendicular to the plane. So now what am I doing? I'm trying to find F. Looking at those, I can see that if I do resolving horizontally, so I'm gonna tell them that resolving horizontally. Okay, it didn't take me any time to do it, does it? F equals MA. And now what have I got? Horizontally, I can't keep these highlights on my answer, but I've just got T sine is equal to F cos 60. So, oops. T sine 60 is equal to F cos 60. If you want to write those out in terms of root three over twos and halves, you can do. I'm not going to bother yet. I'm just going to now resolve perpendicular, sorry, resolve vertically this time. I'm gonna say F equals MA again. Again, I can put these on just for reminding you guys. But here, 
I'm going to get T cos plus F sine is equal to 5, and then I'll just get simultaneous equation I need to solve. So I'm going to say T cos 60 plus F sine 60 is equal to 5. And if I want to work out what F is, then let's get rid of um, the T. So here, from this one, I get that T is equal to F cos 60 over sine 60. Okay, the only reason I'm doing it up there is, as you can see, I didn't give myself a lot of space in terms of the answer booklet. The answer booklet's got more pages than this. I've just um, shortened them all up when I'm doing it. So I can now replace that in there. When I replace that in there, I'm going to get F cos 60 over sine 60 cos 60 plus F sine 60 equals 5. And the only thing you don't have there is F. So just rearrange it all. I haven't got time on all these videos to be doing some of the basic stuff. That will give me F works out to be equal to 5 root 3 over 2. Part B says find the tension in the string and the tension is up there. Okay, so part B, oops, tension is F cos 60 over sine 60. And again, not taking any time to do those sort of things. It actually works out to be 5 over 2 for that one. Okay, don't want to make these videos too long for each one, but I'll put loads of them on. So that's how you do the first one. Dead straightforward, six marks in the bag, we can move on to question number two.